I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. If anybody can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. All gnome scholars have a Templar who sponsors their research, and apparently Hughes' sponsor, Templar Octien, is desperate to find him. Go southwest to the Hollowlands in Detir. Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might reach Hughes. You're not the only one on the hunt for Hughes. Octien has followed his trail to the Hollowlands in Detir. You'll want to talk to him. I met with the court. I understand. But the High King is enemy.
What is it? What is it? You! You are my contact! I should have known. Punctuality is not one of your people's strengths. And you have so few. You may recall our mutual friend, Formerus Hughes. The gnome who brought you back to life? I suspect you would. But I gather you've been quite busy. Well, Scholar Hughes has been missing since the attack on his tower. As his patron, I am quite concerned. I want you to find him. You are, how shall I say, uniquely suited to the task. I could ask the same question. For all I know, Formerus Hughes is on the run from you. I am willing to assume that's not the case. Simply put, you may be my only chance of locating Hughes. Just as I may be yours. Don't be obtuse. I am his patron. As such, I own everything that Scholar Hughes produces. I suppose that includes you as well. The secrets in his laboratories are meant for gnome eyes only. They must be controlled. At any cost. It would seem the incident in Alistar made Scholar Hughes a touch, uh, paranoid. Every time we receive a clue about his location, he vanishes before I can reach him. But he's running out of places to hide. It's my opinion that there's one hope left to finding Hughes. You. And I'm grateful. Scholar Hughes is quite fortunate to have friends like us. Hughes has an old laboratory in the cavern of Saltwell Mines. I believe he's been conducting research there since the destruction of Alistar Tower. Find him, and you will be rewarded for your contribution to science. I will await your success in the Lavraria Minadesa. He may have returned to his old laboratory in Saltwell Mine. He's quite paranoid, for good reason. Edessa is the greatest bastion of knowledge and understanding in the world. Alpha of their hearts, mankind as its gods. 
But our only commandments are the solid, predictable laws of natural science.
Have I been down here so long? Is the madness so great that I see the faces of the damned before me? Or, or is it really you? It is! By the tome! Come closer. Let me look at you. It has been an eternity since I've seen a trusted face. Are you? In many ways, your awakening has brought me nothing but misery. But that is not your fault. I am to blame for all of it. Wait. Do you hear that sound? It could be the Sons of Laz, but it could be someone else. The last we spoke, it was the Tuatha that reduced my lab to cinders. Now it's assassins. Everywhere I go, destruction follows. 
I have grown so weary of it, my friend. All I ever wanted was to unlock death's secrets, to shed light on the shadows. I never wanted this. Thank you. For more than just your protection, for being the one good thing to come of this disaster. I have few friends, but I gladly count you among them. You must be mistaken. I've tried to contact him ever since I fled Alistair, but he never replied. Until now. Octien. Of course. When all the facts are considered, the truth will emerge. Ah, oh, I am a fool! Octien has sent you to search for me. To have us killed together. Those assassins are proof of this. The Well of Souls is his project. Once it was functioning, he no longer needed me. Not if he could salvage the well in Alistar with Ventrinio's help. Ventrinio de Cellini. We used to work together in this lab on projects sponsored by Templar Octien. But when we were tasked with creating the well, Ventrinio sought to use any means at our disposal, regardless of the implications or consequences. Eventually, he was taken away, and I was sent to work at Alistar. But it seems he continued his work here. Long enough to create those monsters. They are the animated dead. Early experiments in the field of immortality. They will forever haunt these cursed caverns. Ventrinio named them after a mythical figure who rose from the dead. He looked on them and saw potential. I see only abominations. No, not me. But Ventrinio's old notes suggest that he may know a way into Alabastra. I wonder, perhaps, is it possible that you have met Ventrinio already? That would explain it. You were attuned to his well, but raised from mine. Unfortunately, the only way to find Ventrinio is to go through Templar Octien, which will not be easy now that we know of his treachery. Never. The only voice he wishes to hear is his own. We cannot deal with Octien within the boundaries of Edessa. Not alone. There is one who has the power to discredit him. Templar Joriel. She is reputed for her wisdom and strength of character. And, as I recall, she and Octien do not exactly see eye to eye on matters of policy. If Joriel can make Octien answer for his crimes, then we will gain access to his information. That includes the location of Ventrinio's lab. If you wish to uncover the mystery of your death, then you will need Ventrinio. He is the key to Alabastra. Find Templar Joriel in Edessa. We don't have much evidence, but I have a feeling she will help us. Oh, don't call it that. You're just having a talk with Octien in the library. In return for your discretion, he'll give us what we want. I know it's unpleasant, but when you work with the Templars, you just start thinking this way. It helps you stay alive.
right there, newcomer. I welcome you to Edessa, but before you enter, I must catalog your visit. Please answer the questions as truthfully as possible. It's imperative that our tallies be accurate. Now, what brings you to Edessa? Excuse my rudeness. I am Senar Bruges, Talier second class to the Domus Politica. My purpose is to sort those that come to Edessa, to welcome them to the city while maintaining the delicate balance we gnomes have achieved. Yes, well, at least you look more put together than some of the people that came here before you. Poor sods. With any luck, your errands go without incident. Now, where have you come to Edessa from? F f for Morris Hughes? You mean to say you've come from Alistar? Yes, I, I see it now. They were wrong about your nose, but you match the description of the one I was to look out for. We can dispense with the remainder of my questions. You are free to enter Edessa. Sandstone Villa will serve as your lodgings. Temporarily. This is rare, newcomer. Very rare. If I can speak frankly, I'm not sure this is the blessing you take it to be. True, you have been saved from the squalid lodgings of the Hospitalis Quarters. But Sandstone Villa is reserved for... Uh, well, it is not my place to speak of it. This key will provide you with access to the villa. You would do well to be very aware of your surroundings, stranger. Now, good day. Yes, yes, go on. 